everybody. Very glad to see you today. Uh, the initial step for discovery of Emory technology was, as you already heard, the, this accident uh, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And uh, we got sample of this spring water at St. Petersburg University in 1980s and uh, did a lot of research just to try, and, uh, try to find out what is the um, a real uh, mechanism behind this uh, miracle effect of the water. So we conducted a number of tests because initially we believed it's probably because of the special chemistry of this water. We didn't find any special uh, minerals or special chemical compounds in this water. And then it came uh, to my mind that probably it's not because of the chemistry of water, but because of the physics of water. So in other words, we conducted a special physical test, including nuclear magnetic resonance test, uh, laser spectroscopy, etc. And we indeed found that uh, it's because of the unique uh, activity, uh, proton activity of water and unique uh, molecular structure of water. So then it took me probably another five to six years to develop technology which actually allowed to uh, recreate this type of water uh, at laboratory in, in laboratory environment. Uh, we conducted a number of tests uh, just to prove that this technology actually works. Uh, we conducted a number of physical tests uh, just to find out what is the difference of uh, this water after MRT treatment. We found that it actually uh, has a dramatic reduction of viscosity after MRT treatment. Under one condition, when the water is exposed to extremely low pressure, uh, why it's so important? Because uh, we know that on a regular basis, on everyday basis, our body is exposed to the pressure of one atmosphere. But inside our body, because the body is a very complex structure, there is a billion of cells. It has so-called fractal structure. Inside the cells, the pressure is extremely low. And this is very important that what on a regular basis, when it goes inside the body after MRT treatment, the viscosity drops like 300 times. So, in other words, it has so-called uh, super liquidity. Uh, then we found that uh, it's actually, MRT treatment actually changed electrodynamic characteristic of water after treatment, like uh, dielectrical permittivity, conductivity, etc. And obviously we conducted a number of biological tests. Uh, we conducted tests uh, which actually proved that this type of water can suppress uh, metabolic activity uh, of harmful bacteria. We conducted tests on E. coli, uh, we did test on uh, in animals uh, for Staphylococcus, and uh, every medical doctor knows this is a huge issue, uh, even, not even in uh, Asia, but even in the United States in hospitals, they have a lot of problem with this type of infection. Uh, we conducted tests uh, on different form of coliform. It, it shows that this water suppress activity uh, of harmful bacteria. Uh, another test was conducted in regards to uh, uh, the effect of MRT treated water on different form of cancer. It was done both in vivo and in vitro. In animal models, uh, this test was conducted uh, for two form of cancer, Ehrlich carcinoma and uh, sarcoma. So what they found that the animals uh, on MRT water, the, uh, the size of the tumor drops about 60% uh, compared with uh, uh, animals uh, in control group. And the lifespan of the animals on MRT water was also about 60, 50% uh, higher, which means that the animals, they lived longer. Uh, just recently, about a year ago, we uh, conducted another test with Alcia DX. It's a biotech company in San Diego. Uh, what we found that uh, when you introduce MRT water to uh, standard so-called helix cancer cells, standard cells, uh, the water uh, basically inhibit growth of cancer cells about, say, 
but when it was exposed to normal cells, cells there was no effect, which means that water is safe. Uh, for example, everybody, every medical doctor knows that chemotherapy works. It kills cancer cells, but on the other si half side, it also kills normal cells, and this is the main reason for the side effect of chemotherapy. Uh, another test was conducted uh, in uh, Toronto University in Canada. Uh, uh, the test was conducted uh, just to find out the effect of emerald water on uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease model in animals. So again, they found that <coughs> basically emerald water support uh, normal function of uh, mice even uh, after mice were inoculated with this, you know, Alzheimer. Uh, and uh, the lifespan was much longer. After the animals were sacrificed and uh, the uh, brain uh, tissue was studied, they actually found that the mice which were on emirati water, their brain development was much better, much better compared with mice in control group. Uh, so why it's so important uh, to know all these uh, results because or basically all this uh, testing which uh, we conducted for the last 15 years in number of universities such as San Diego State University, Toronto University, Moscow State University, etc. Uh, we actually uh, published all this research. It was published with uh, World Scientific Publishing company, which is one of the largest scientific publishing company. And uh, it was uh, published uh, uh, three years ago, and this book is available. You can go on Amazon and find this publishing. And uh, <clears throat> uh, it's, uh, it's well known that uh, when you approach a published scientific publishing company, uh, basically you can present your scientific research and you can ask a publisher, okay, could you publish my book? They said, okay, but let me do some, uh, first of all peer review. So they first introduced this research to independent group of the scientists and oft, uh, only after their approval, the book can be published. So we have three published scientific book for Emirate technology. Okay, what is the difference between regular water and the Emirate treated water? Uh, in 1990s, a group of uh, uh, German scientists, they did uh, research uh, in regards uh, to the structure of intracellular water. So what they actually found that uh, intracellular water has a very unique molecular structure. It has so-called polarized oriented multi-level structure, which, which means that water molecules they are bounded together in one line and there is a number of layers between these lines. Based on our research with the emirate water viscosity, when we found actually that it actually drops, uh, reduced 300 times, the only conclusion was it because it has exactly the same type of structure, which means that water molecules they are bounded together in one line, but between the layers of water molecules, there is no uh, resistivity, there is no bounding. For this reason, the viscosity drops so significant, and it creates super liquidity of the water. Um, well, that's kind of like a brief explanation for, for the research and the EMRA treatment, and I hope that uh, today, this evening, um, uh, we may have uh, certain questions and uh, you know, I will be glad to answer this question.